So my name is Carl Harks. I'm the business development manager of 3Shape. Uh, been with 3Shape a little over 11 years. So if there's any questions that you have, feel free to uh, type them in the, in the chat box or the Q&A box and um, we'll be able to get to them at the end. All right, so uh, just going over you know, some of the agenda points today. So obviously we're gonna speak about some of the innovation over the years and uh, in the recent uh, months and, and what's to come in the, in the next couple months. Uh, but we're gonna talk about some of those innovations in the hardware space, the software, and then how you, a user, uh, can get some extra assistance. Um, we have some more resources, we have some videos, um, and then that basically will bring us to the top of the hour and then we'll go over some of the questions um, at the very end. So let's get, uh, let's get started. Uh, so taking a look at the three shape scanner portfolio. Uh, so we have four different scanners in our uh, hardware portfolio and Zahn rebrands the three shape scanner under the Novox label. Uh, so they have very nice branding in the back but it's the same exact scanner, same speed, same accuracy. Uh, this would be the design version. So it's a very nice no bucks uh, decaling. But for the most part, we have our four uh, e-scanners, the red generations. And we're going to take a look at the history of the three shape hardware and then compare it with today's generation of red e-scanners. So first, we're going to take a look at the, the first round of lab scanners three shape brought to market, which were the D-scanners. Um, we had many inter iterations of the D scanners over the years. This was about 12 to 10 years ago, we got into the lab space, uh, specifically in North America. We opened up a, uh, an office in New Jersey, which I'm based out of. Uh, and we really took the lab market, um, the digital market um, in the early days with, with some of these D700 scanners, D800 really known as the workhorse scanner back then. And we still have, oh, I think there's hundreds of these models of scanners still out there, which really says a lot because, you know, technology that's 10, 12 years old um, typically doesn't, um, you know, beat the test of time, but, but some of these early model scanners have, and a lot of our, our customers out there are still using them today. But looking at you know, what made that technology happen you know, 10, 12 years ago, um, it was a red laser technology, okay? So all these scanners here had uh, a single red laser that would shine down on the models or the impressions uh, for the cameras to be able to take the images to, to build an STL file of the model or the impression that was being scanned. And then at the end of this four or five year run, uh, is when we made a switch into blue LED technology. And the D900s are our first step into a four camera scanner with a blue LED technology. And, and that really set the speed increase uh, and it really brought down the accuracy of what a, you know, a, a box scanner is capable of doing. So making that leap at around 2014 with the D900, uh, we continued on with the blue LED technology and uh, we expanded on that. So, you know, th this was the portfolio of scanners between 2015 and 2017. This was, this was a great uh, innovation of, uh, of, of thicker scanners, more accurate scanners and larger interior space scan scan scanners. Excuse me. Um, this is where we brought in the, ability to scan a, an articulator that was using a transfer plate. So not the exact full articulator, but we had accessories that were included with these scanners that allowed you to, to take the mounted model off of the articulator and uh, place it on a specific transfer plate to scan in, in these box scanners. And this is where we also came out with the D2000 scanner. This was the first and only scanner that I'm aware of where you can scan both models at the same time, put both models in the scanner, both impressions, close the door, hit scan, and, and the, the workflow uh, was really streamlined and, uh, and easy to use to you know, go through the next steps of the scanning process. And this is where we took that blue LED technology and we really pushed it 
uh, its capabilities. And this is where we, we came out with multi-line technology. So starting with the D1000, the D2000, and then um, now into the new e-scanners, we have 27 lines of blue LED light to shine down on the scanner, uh, on the model and in the impression. And this is the next round of innovation on the hardware side. And you can see by the specs, it, it made the scanner more accurate, you know, five microns of accuracy and, and very quick, you know, sub 30 seconds of scan time for a full arch model. Um, so, you know, this was, this was a, a big push forward in the hardware innovation. <clears throat> Next, we'll take a look at the specs of the e-scanners. These are the red generation, um, the Nobux label that, that Henry Schein sells. And you can see here with all the, you know, blue LED multi-line technology, being that this is the second generation of that technology in these new red scanners, you can see that pretty much all of our uh, scanners in the portfolio scan below 30 seconds in arch, um, with the E4 being nine seconds. Uh, so, so really, really nice uh, scanner portfolio with this, you know, blue LED technology that, you know, we've implemented over the last two years and, and you know, really brought to market a, a very fast, accurate scanner in the E4. Um, being, being the flagship uh, scanner in our portfolio. Next, just taking a look at, you know, the whole generation of hardware up until now. So you can see, you know, just scanning model to the, the speeds, right? 75 seconds a model for a D700. Uh, there was a couple updates in the, in the D800s over the those couple of early years, but you know, 55 seconds of scan time. Uh, and then we move into the blue LED introduction with the D900, gets you down to 35 seconds. And then the multi-line technology uh, with the e-scanners, you know, sub 10 seconds, you know, nine seconds scan time. So uh, it's really neat to see, you know, you know, how these scanners got updated with the newer technologies over the years and you know, what that means for you, the user, uh, when you're sitting in front of the, the scanner with your models, scanning cases in day to day, is a big time savings on, you know, upgrading to the latest uh, technology with the e-scanners. <clears throat> so we'll take a little look at, you know, that, that technology on the next couple slides. You know, some of the key benefits of switching from a red laser to a blue uh, LED, with, you know, we talked about speed and accuracies. Um, we also talked about that next generation of, of hardware having larger interior space, which allows for the mounted uh, stone models, larger impression trays, specifically around denture scanning. Um, and, that, you know, that was the, the D900s, uh, the D750, 850s were this next round of, of larger interior scans. Then we, again, we just took like we just took that to the next level. You know, started from the one red laser to the one blue LED light, and then with the D1000s and the D2000s, we we came out with the 27 lines of multi uh, blue LED light, and that really increased the speed, the accuracy, uh, and impression scanning um, was much faster, much detailed less need to go back and rescan areas. So we saw a big improvement in impression scanning area, specifically with this uh, new technology. And then we can see, you know, focused in on like, what, what does the blue LED light actually provide me? Um, you know, we looked at speeds, accuracies, but you know, wh what does the STL file look like? Uh, and an STL file is broken up into tiny little points where the software makes triangles out of it. And that's what provides you with a 3D image. So taking a look at, you know, the, the D700 scan as a wireframed STL file, uh, you can see the, the prep, uh, you know, it's got a lot of detail, it's darker, the triangles are, are relatively small. But if we look at the E4, uh, you can see that that prep is really dark, uh, specifically around the marginal area. 
That's because the, the enhanced detailed scan on the E4 will scan you know, accurate, accurately around four microns. Um, so you can see just by the wire framing and the amount of triangle, triangles that get produced, um, you're getting a more accurate scan out of that E4 compared to you know, the technology that is 10, 12 years old with that D700 model. Um, now we'll just take a step out. We won't look at the actual wired frame STL file. We'll look at the exact uh, STL file that you would be seeing on screen. And when we take a, a, a dive in and kind of overlay what that wired frame STL looks like um, in, a, in a zoomed in approach here, you can see that you know, the, the triangulation on the E4 margin line is much darker, um, crisper. And it's going to get you a little bit more exact uh, precise when you're marking the margin in, in your CAD software. <clears throat> and then, right, so we just talked a little bit about the, the accuracies and what that provides and the detail of the scan, but take a little bit of a look at the time savings uh, because that's a huge part of, you know, why we innovate our hardware, right? We, we want you guys to be efficient uh, with your, you know, day-to-day -day workload. And you know, having a, a faster scanner is going to provide you more time in the lab to you know, do other tasks, learn other uh, parts of the lab business, right? You're not just sitting in front of the scanner. And just taking a quick uh, comparison of a, a, a typical uh, lab day of perhaps 20 cases uh, and 20 single molar cases, for instance, is what we did this comparison on. And we did a, a 20 case scan on the D700, and we did the same 20 cases on the E4. And there was about an hour time savings uh, on the E4. And that's the faster the scanner uh, is you know, going to speed through your workload and, and provide more time at the end of the day. So right there, there's a, there's a big innovation in upgrading to this latest technology. And then all the other little things that add up to you know, making your restoration as accurate and, um, and, and best fitting as possible because we're, we're using a, a more accurate scanner, blue LED technology, four microns of accuracy. And then this, the e-scanners allow you to do even more. Um, it allows you to stick the full articulated model into the scanner. Uh, again, that's saving even more time that wasn't associated with this, um, this uh, comparison, right? So if you have a full model on an articulator, if you were to scan that in the D700, you'd have to unmount it, scan the case, and then remount it. Uh, again, that, that's adding more and more time. That's actually not part of this study. But with the e-scanners, you can stick a full articulated model into the scanner for the byte scan. And you know that's just a few seconds of scan time when it comes to scanning the byte. And then next, what the blue LED technology provides is color scanning. Uh, so, for instance, maybe you're scanning in an RPD case and you've drawn on your model the clasps or the retention grids or you know, any part of that framework on your model. When you scan that in with the e-scanners, uh, the e-scanners can pick up the color and they overlay those tracings onto your, your digital model as well. Uh, so, for instance, when designing that RPD, it'll be very easy to you know, follow the outline of the model drawings when creating your framework. Um, so a lot of, of progress over the years and then you know, brings us to today with the E4. Um, <clears throat> so kind of wrapped up, wrap up the, the hardware innovations, right? With, uh, with the Novux Red E4, you know, nine seconds of scan time, um, four microns of accuracy, uh, ability to scan impressions much better with uh, 27 lines of blue LED light open sourced uh, articulator scanning. Uh, so put the full articulator in the scanner to scan the byte and then full color scanning. Um, so the last image is uh, just the, the, uh, an example of what a color scan uh, looks like from an E4. All right, so that was the first part of, of the innovation was the hardware. So moving into the second section is the software. Let's take a look at some of the software innovation. We're particularly going to look at what's to come. 
Um, so every year, 3Shape comes out with a new version of dental system. That version typically gets released in June. Um, unfortunately, this year we've had a little bit of a delay. Uh, we have a large office in Kiev, Ukraine. It probably holds roughly 400 uh, three shapers, and many of those uh, three shapers are our development team. And uh, we've been listening to the news. We've there's a little, little disruption in that section of the world. Um, Everyone from Three Shapes safe. Uh, we were able to relocate a majority of our colleagues to other Three Shape offices. Um, we have a large office in Poland, so many of those Ukrainian colleagues moved over to Poland, or they moved uh, west and uh, working remotely. But they, everyone has been fine. But unfortunately, that's delayed the release of our dental system 2022. Uh, but it will be releasing shortly. So. Come this September is the scheduled release of the dental system 2022. So taking a look uh, and uh, some polls on our beta testers, uh, they're loving the new, the new beta version. Um, so when it is a final release, you'll be able to get it and take advantage of, of some of these new features. You know, specifically updates to the implant bridge workflow, um, temp, uh, temp crown on virtual dyes, and uh, some denture updates. So we'll get into each one of those updates and next couple uh, slides, we'll, we'll get into all the new features within the 2022 release. All right, so, you know, kind of going over some of the release notes in, in the beta. Um, I pulled a couple of the, of the big uh, bullet points. You know, what are some of the, the updates with, uh, you know, the, the core, of the dental system. So there's a, been an update on virtual preps, how you do uh, temporaries and how you, you virtually prep uh, that tooth. So a lot of new updates with, uh, with the temp module. Uh, update to how you work with doctors who might still be analog. Um, maybe you have doctors that are analog, but they still want to be a part of the approval process. So with the dental systems 2022, when you're done designing your case, you can actually export a link to your design and send that link to your doctor. And that link will open up a 3D viewer for them to view your design, uh, view the scan, view your design, very, very simple 3D viewer. Um, but that gets this maybe analog doctor part of the digital process. Um, and uh, they're not allowed to edit. There's no editing tools, but it allows them to see what you've designed. So in case it maybe was a, a larger case, uh, you can then have some feedback before it actually goes to the mill or the printer. Um, so really cool web 3D options to come. Uh, we have some updates with some dentures on some implants. We have some new workflows with some sculpt uh, toolkit features. And there's been a big update on the model builder um, different types of models, uh, ortho models, um, models that can snap into articulators, um, a, lot of, a lot of updates on the, on the model builder. But out of these highlights, I pulled a couple of uh, some videos and, uh, oops, let's go play this one. Uh, the first video uh, or this first slide is the highlight, the web 3D preview. Uh, so the first little section on the left is the case has been designed. You right click on your case, you hit three shape communicate, you hit preview link, and you get this little um, uh, website link. And then you can send that to the doctor for them to view. On the right side is the doctor's 3D viewer, what they see from the link. So you can see that there's no editing tools. Uh, but there are some tools where they can turn on and off the models, turn on and off the color. Um, but again, it, we're getting them involved in the digital process, and we want them to, you know, help approve these cases before they go to manufacturing. Um, so that was a very cool uh, update. Next, uh, some new workflows on uh, the Sculpt Toolkit. Uh, Sculpt Toolkit is typically where you're gonna design the, the majority of your restoration. And for one, there's a big update within the attachment tools. 
so we're, we're trying to be as flexible as possible and give you the user the tools that you can stay remained in the design software and you don't have to go in and out of the software to uh, add things, right? Uh, so, so the one example here is the ability to add an STL file attachment on the fly. So think a few years ago when we came out with the additional scan tool, right? The additional scan tool allows you to bring in any additional STL file once you're in the design. Um, well, this is the next step with being able to bring in an additional STL file as an attachment. So obviously the, the little video here is, is an attachment, but you know, technicians, you guys are very creative. This is an STL file. You can bring in an STL file as an attachment and add it, subtract it, however you want to, to manipulate your case. It's just another uh, tool um, for you to be flexible when you're in the design. And then, you know, taking it a step further with that additional scan uh, import tool that we came out a few years ago, now you're able to turn on and off that model as active and you're actually allowed to sculpt on it as well. Um, so now we can, we can do even more with those additional scan tools um, alongside of this additional uh, attachment tool as well. Next, a little update on the, the bar module. Again, trying to stay with the theme of keeping the user in the design software and not needing to go back and forth into the dental manager or into the control panel. Um, so for instance, we have a custom bar editing tool. This is the little video that you see on the right. Uh, this has always been a feature in the software to create your own bar profile, but to do so, you'd have to go into the control panel and edit or create a custom bar profile. Then you'd have to go and design the bar. Maybe it wasn't perfect. So then you'd have to go back into the control panel to fix it. Well, now we have this bar editing tool directly in the bar module. So you can then create these custom profiles on the fly uh, and no need to kind of go back and forth in the control panel uh, to, to tinker or you know, to, to make this profile. And then one other very simple update, but we got a big applause from our beta testers is there's an undo redo button now in the bar module. So trying to stay consistent through each type of restoration, you know, what's included in the tools. And now the bar module has the undo redo button. Um, so a big update in the, in the bar features. <clears throat> Next, uh, we're gonna go into the removable uh, part of reshape, right? Our, our denture module. Um, so denture module has, uh, oops, sorry about that, go back in one second. Uh, denture module is a individual module that you can buy uh, as a standalone. You can buy it as part of a removable package or it's part of our complete restore package, which is the full bundle of all three shape modules. Uh, but let's take a look at just the removable part, because part of that removable package are RPDs, custom trays, and dentures. And you can see that there's been a huge increase in designs over the last couple years uh, within these modules. And for one, you know, we're seeing a big increase year to year uh, because we improve the software year to year. We get new features, new workflows, new tools. And we spent a lot of time in this uh, in the denture and RPD custom tray module to, to make these the software really easy to use um, and, and really simple through the workflows. Uh, so that was part of one of the big increases from year to year. Uh, but the one of the main reasons are the materials uh, and the manufacturing processes have increased. Uh, if you leap and bound, I mean, I, I feel like there's a new material or a new approval of a material or, you know, uh, design, um, milling times coming down, printing times coming down. So I want to give a big, uh, you know, reason why these designs have increased over our, over the years is a lot to do with the manufacturing, right? The 3D printing space uh, has really excelled with its materials strong aesthetic and, and users are, are really liking what uh, can be manufactured on, on the removable applications. Uh, 
Um, but taking a look at the highlights of the 2022 software within the removable module, um, and a lot has to do with dentures. Uh, so I, I pulled, you know, a few of these, uh, made, again, little, little update videos. We'll go through each one of these. Uh, so one specifically around setup um, is the ability to lock a jaw as a full arch. And this is gonna help dramatically when doing setup for uh, different classes of occlusion. You have a setup for a, a second or third class occlusion, um, locking a full jaw makes it much easier to do these types of setups. In the past, you'd have to move each tooth individually or you, you can actually lock a, a section of teeth. Um, but for the most part, um, you know, our users were requesting to lock a full jaw and, and with this new release, that's what we're providing. And then uh, the next update is the ability to remove any tooth um, from you know, your order form. So let's say in your order form, you were doing a full over partial um, and you might've filled the order form out with an extra tooth in the posterior area. When, when you get into design, you realize there's not enough space. So again, staying with that thought process of keeping the designer within the software, not having them to go out and change the order form and then go back into the design. Uh, we're, we have a, uh, a tool that you can remove any tooth at any part of the, uh, the setup uh, to help with some of the space um, with the specific uh, full over partial. Just kind of giving you guys all the tools when you're, when you're in the software to design all. Next, a, a big uh, helpful tool to help with setups, specifically with dentures, is uh, a viewing window. So now we have this new window uh, where you can see at the bottom of this little video where you can set up your case with three, three little views side by side. And when you adjust uh, the main part of the design, uh, all three windows will move as well. So again, no need to make an adjustment, rotate, take a look at what it looks like, the setup looks like. You can see that by the interactive windows at the bottom of the screen. Um, so a big improvement with uh, setup and, and, and you, the user, seeing how that looks without having to jostle the model around it, um, you know, a million different ways. And then uh, an update with implant supported dentures. So you might get a case that has some uh, locator abutments. And when you scan those uh, locators in, uh, maybe sometimes they're metal, maybe they're a little shiny. Um, you know, the scanner does a, a pretty good job of being able to uh, capture that. But sometimes you can see here in the scan, it's not as crisp. So what we're gonna allow in the workflow for this specific uh, case is we can bring in the exact STL file of that locator attachment, and we can align it to the scan of that locator attachment. And then the software will remove the scan of that locator and use the actual STL file of that locator when designing the denture. And this is gonna make much more accurate dentures uh, when you cut to the model. Kind of think of this as an implant scan. Uh, you scan an implant case with a scan body, and then the first step of the design is to align the scan of the scan body with the CAD file of the scan body. Um, so that's basically what we're doing with these, with these locators. Uh, <clears throat> next, just gonna, just gonna do a, a simple, um, well, maybe it's not as simple, but uh, an update with some efficient all on X design. Uh, this is a little bit outside the box. We're just working with our academy team. Uh, They're working with a couple uh, technicians who are posting on the three shape study group on how they can use multiple modules to make a very efficient streamline all on X design. So, kind of bear with me. We're going to walk through a couple of these kind of outside the box innovations when it comes to design. Uh, so basically with this workflow, 
uh, we're, we're taking a full denture design and we're taking an implant scan, kind of marrying them, marrying them together, kind of like a wax up bridge case to produce an all on X uh, uh, restoration. <clears throat> so stick with me, just trying to bring some innovation on, on this all on X design uh, for, for us here. So, so first for an all on X design, right? We have implants, we have to, scan um, the case with implants. So the, the software knows where those coordinates are, right? It knows where those implant sites are. So we're gonna set up our case. Uh, this is a specifically a four implant uh, restoration. And we're gonna set them up as four individual uh, abutments, let's call them. Uh, and we're gonna scan our case in. We're gonna open up that case in the design software and we're gonna align our scan bodies, okay? And once the scan bodies are aligned, it produces a file you see in the bottom here where it gives you us the abutment coordinates, okay? That's perfect, we need that file, okay? So what we can then do is um, we, can, we can close out of uh, this case. We're kind of done with this part of, of the process and we're gonna export. Uh, and we're going to save this specific file uh, because this is the file that has the implant sites. And we're going to save that for the second part of this case. So this was the first case. So now we have our scan with our scan bodies. Okay. Next, we're going to do a, we're going to take that scan and we're going to design and set up and design a denture. Uh, it's going to be a monoblock denture, meaning it's going to be the one piece denture. And we're going to design this denture as a horseshoe, as, a, as an arch. Um, <clears throat> what their advantages are, are uh, within the denture module, there's a lot of, of good tools for faster full arch setup. Uh, some of the denture libraries are, are very nice. Um, uh, some of them are free, so you can use those right off the bat. And the gingiva design is a, a very nice tools and um, you know, sculpt toolkit. Some of the some of the customization you can do with the gingiva tools and the denture module, um, technicians really like, right? So then we're going to make this monoblock denture, and it's going to produce an STL file. We'll save that STL file as well. And then next, we're going to set up the case as a wax up bridge, okay? So we're gonna set the case up as a wax up bridge. And instead of scanning everything, but because we already have our scans, uh, we're going to import the scans. And we're going to import the, the prep scan with that file that we saved earlier, the, the file with the implant sites, right? The file that had all the coordinates of each implant site. And that's gonna be the base or the main prep file for this, this type of uh, restoration. And then it's gonna ask us for the wax up. Well, we did that with the denture design. Um, so since we designed the denture as a horseshoe, that's like our wax up. And we're gonna add that wax up scan to this wax up order. And then next with the wax up design, it's very simple. Basically we, we cut to gingiva and then being that we have the implant sites, uh, the, the software will cut screw channels and make room for the tie bases, if we're going to use tie bases, uh, into that denture design. And now we have just designed a implant bridge using the denture module and the wax up bridge module as well. So kind of thinking outside the box with all the different modules and tools and coming up with some innovation on, on this new workflow. Um, you can check out some of the social media sites. I, I know someone posted a video in depth on this, but you know, just try to let everyone think outside the box um, and using all the tools at your fingertips. And you know, some of the labs that are doing this workflow really enjoy the, the, the ease of the denture module. Um, obviously it, it, it might need two cases to get the, scans and the designs into a wax up bridge case, but 
um, even that little added time over the full course is, is very easy for, for them to produce these all in X cases. So just wanted to throw those couple slides at you just to, to get everyone thinking about you know, how you can innovate with the tools at, at your uh, disposal. And then next, we wanna walk through a little bit of the updates with uh, Three Shape Automate. I think this is one of the biggest innovations uh, Three Shape has come out with. Um, and Three Shape Automate is run by uh, Full Contour. Full Contour is a design service uh, that, that Three Shape acquired a few years ago. Uh, they still are, they, they still run themselves. They are the Full Contour team runs a design team of, of, of dental technicians that still do hand design, digital hand design. Someone does a technician designing these types of restorations and they can do anything from crowns to RPDs, to models, to clear aligners, to dentures, to guided surgery. That's the, the main part of Full Contour's design service. But in conjunction, Full Contour and 3Shape last year launched Three Shape Automate. Three Shape Automate is a full AI design crown and night guard service. It offers uh, consistent technology that's predictable, it's fast, it's scalable. You know, think of a Friday afternoon and you know you just get a whole bunch of cases for single units on on your desk. You can scan those in and send them to Automate. Um, so really easy to use. Uh, you, the user, accept or reject the case, and you only pay for what you accept. So you can upload as many cases as you want, um, but you only get charged for the download. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the, the things needed to send a case through 3Shape Automate. Uh, first, we need a scan. And uh, Automate is open to a variety of different scans. So we can scan in a stone model. You can take a trio scan. It can take an STL font. Uh, you can scan an impression. And all these types of scans all work with Reshape Automate. Um, <clears throat> some things to consider if you're using Reshape Automate uh, and doing stone model scans, uh, you really want an ideal model trim. Um, for the for the dies, it's going to help the algorithm and software find the model, um, find the margin on the model, and uh, and and give you a better uh, fitting crown. What you can also do as a lab technician is you can scan in your case, you can design it up until the margin, you can save it, and then you can upload that to Automate, and the AI software will use your margin that you mark. So you can actually do that yourself. And the, and the software will use your markings to, uh, to outline the margin. Uh, it is open. Uh, so if you, if you are not a three shape user, uh, you can still send to Automate. Automate needs a uh, order form. It needs material files. So you just can't upload an STL file and expect the crown back because we all know we're gonna mill that. And the milling parameters need to be a part of that crown STL file. And the only way for Automate to receive those material files is through an order form. So obviously through the three shape dental system, we can do that, um, but also ExoCAD, can, we can receive ExoCAD uh, scans as well. Uh, so again, open, not just proprietary to three shape, we're open to the, the whole industry for, the, for the, the companies that produce a file that has materials that Automate can work with. So taking a look at Automate and, and what it's compatible within the three shape software. So if you're a three shape user and you're on a 2016 through 2020 version of the dental system, you can send through Automate. Um, you're just going to be able to send one case at a time and um, you can preview and, and download your STL file off the Automate website. But if you're using the dental system's 2021 version, there's a big advantage. Uh, you can bulk upload, meaning you can upload multiple cases, 100 cases at once, which is a highlight of the orders and, and the upload button. Uh, you can download the STL files back into your dental manager 
and you can open up the case and actually edit the design as well. And that really opens up a lot of opportunities within Automate and then 3Shape advantage if you're using a 3Shape system is you can edit the design. And here's just a little example of, um, of uh, you know, Automate. So here we have, you know, five cases all highlighted. We bulk upload them to Automate. We provide the turnaround time that we want these cases. So we'll choose five minutes as a video example. And now it'll upload all five of those cases to the cloud. And in five minutes, we'll be able to review those cases. Um, obviously this is a video and sped up a little bit, but these are the reviewing tools. So I can go through each one of those cases individually and review and, um, and again, there's no charge up until now. Uh, I review them and I say, you know what? I like all five of those cases. We're gonna download them. When we download those five cases, that's when you'll get charged for the automate service. But you can see when I download these cases, they're gonna come right back into my dental manager. The icon changes to a crown. I can see I have my crown in my 3D viewer. And then I can actually open up the case and redesign it or edit it if I need to as well. So a lot of different advantages when it comes to automate, allowing you, the user, to adjust if needed. Cool there. Um, but let's take a look at some of the other features within Automate. Um, so one, Automate is for single posterior crowns, but they can be multiple single posterior crowns. So it can cut to neighbors. Um, so that's, that's one advantage. And then we can take advantage of the editing tools and the, be able, the ability to bring those designs back into 3Shape for editing. So for instance, here's an example of a full arch case that we've uploaded to Automate. Again, Automate is single posterior crowns. So that's what it does. It designs all the single posterior crowns. Then I can open up the case in the uh, dental system to design my anterior cases. Um, and you can see here, I, can, I already have my posterior design. So it allows me, the designer, to focus on the anteriors and only design the anterior part of the case. So again, speeding up this full arch uh, workflow. With Automate, uh, when you download the STL file, you also get a solo check die as well. So maybe you're doing a model free restoration, um, but you still need to check the, you know, the margin and, and, and the fit. Um, we'll send you the STL file of the crown with the STL file of the die all in a zip folder when you download the case. So we actually provide this uh, with the order as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Automate launched uh, in the spring of 2021, so just over a year old. Um, a lot of those new updates didn't get released into the summer of last year. So in reality, with all those little updates and features that we just went over with Automate, we're, we're pretty much at a year where they've been fully functional. And we've got a lot of designs, um, close to a half a million designs. Um, over a 90% download rate. That means the technicians really like the, the designs coming out of Automate. And in the US, we have about 300 active labs that are using Automate on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. So, so very good um, you know, penetration into, into the lab space and, and labs utilizing uh, you know, Automate. You know, it's, it's not to design all your cases, it's to, it's to act as a, you know, extra employee, you know, uh, it's a Friday, like I said, a Friday afternoon, you want to go to your, your kid's baseball game, right? You can, you can take advantage of some of these design services. So there, there's two types of designs when it comes to automate. There's crown, which we talked about, and then there's night guard. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the, the crown and the turnaround time and the pricing. Um, so there's a, there's a five minute turnaround, obviously you're, you're paying a premium. There's a 30 minute turnaround and then there's a 10 hour turnaround. We see the majority of those half a million designs were the 10 hour turnaround where labs bulk uploaded their cases you know, in the afternoon. 
check the 10 hour turnaround. And then the next morning they come in to review and then download uh, or accept those designs. And then with um, night guards, um, also we see a 10 hour turnaround time being what's widely used. But again, if you need a 10 minute turnaround, uh, it's $30. A one hour turnaround is 15, and then a 10 hour turnaround is uh, 10, 9.99. Um, but again, a great opportunity to uh, get some night guards auto automatically designed with the Automate AI cloud design uh, service. And night guards are only available in the US currently, um, uh, whereas crowns are in 27 different countries. All right, so let's take a look at some additional resources, right? You guys out there have been using 3Shape. You might be new to 3Shape. You might be looking at 3Shape, maybe to add into your lab, um, but you don't know where to start. Where, where do I look for additional information? Um, number one, I would highly recommend joining a face, the Facebook group, 3Shape um, study group. Uh, there's over 30, 35,000 uh, active users within this group all around the world. Uh, and it is unbelievable how much information is being shared within the industry all on this Facebook page. So if you're not on Facebook, it's totally all right. I would highly recommend making a Facebook page just to be a part of this study group. Because even today, I, I mean, even I learned things that are new and I've been with the three shape almost a dozen years now. Uh, so this would be the first spot I would highly recommend joining to learn, to ask questions. It's, it's a really good peer-to-peer -peer, uh, networking system. And, and, and that's pretty much why Facebook was, was started, right? Um, next is our YouTube channel. Um, so you can easily just you know, go to YouTube and go to 3Shape uh, Training. And I just pulled out a couple examples. Uh, for our dentist, dental system training videos, you know, we have a ton of different videos to choose from, the videos specializing in crown design, denture design, you name it. There's a ton of videos in there. They're, they're short, so they focus on the topic, um, but that, that's another wealth of information. And then we have specialty segments. Uh, if you're looking to design splints within our splint studio module, we have a ton of videos just on Splint Studio. Um, and then we have videos on Implant Studio. If you want to learn more about Trios, we have videos on Trio. So, you know, wealth of knowledge on our YouTube channel. And then if you're interested more about Automate, you want to see some examples, you want to see some workflows that we discussed earlier, I would say head on over to our YouTube channel under the Automate section. And then we have a ton of different videos going over all the different automate usages as well. Uh, next, with a update that we, we did, or a program we pushed out in Q1 of this year, uh, chat with an expert. Uh, this is a free program where you can coordinate and schedule a time with, with a three shape Academy member. Um, it's meant for a 15 minute to 30 minute call. Uh, basically, if you go to 3shape.com slash chat, uh, you will then fill out a form where you'll tell uh, our academy team what you're interested in speaking about. Uh, so let's say we say dental systems, let's say we say denture design. Uh, that will open up the calendar of our academy member who specializes with dentures. And you can see the open, openings of their, um, on their calendar. And you can send a calendar invite. This will trigger a, a Zoom meeting uh, where you get a one-on-one -on -one with one of our experts. So again, th this is free. Um, it's meant for you to ask questions. You know, maybe you saw something on the Facebook group. Maybe yeah, yeah, you, we went through the slides on that all in X design, but you might have a, a follow-up question uh, you might go back to the lab, you might be hung up on something, and next week you need to ask someone a question. This is a great opportunity to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with one of our experts and, and, and do a 15 to 30 minute chat with them. Mm -hmm. um, if you are 
needing more training. Um, maybe you hired a new technician. Maybe you upgraded your software package to complete restore and you have some new modules you want to learn about. Uh, three Shape, we do have uh, training, uh, which you can pay by the hour. You can pay by the module. Um, so basically, you can email, you can text, or you can schedule via our website uh, where, where, you can, where you can get some one-on-one -on -one training with, with some of our experts. So highly recommend if you're looking for additional training, this would be a good opportunity to use some of these um, uh, academy members to help with, uh, with some of the modules. <clears throat> All right, and then to wrap up, we're almost at the top of the hour. Um, some some promos that we're running throughout the summer. So in case you you listened through the presentation and we went through the hardware and you saw the advantages of of uh, one of the e scanners, specifically compared against one of the older D model scanners, we have a, a great opportunity uh, for some discounts on the hardware. So through the end of Q3, September 30th. If you're looking to buy an E4 scanner, it's $1,500 off. If you're looking to buy an E3 scanner, it's $1,000 off. So this would be our hardware promo. Uh, next, if you're looking to buy a combination of hardware and software, right? You want a full pack. You're like, okay, I've, I've done my research. I've sat through the webinar and I think we're gonna pull the trigger on a three-shape scanner and software. Well, now we can take advantage of two promos. Um, you can take advantage of that previous promo and get the discount off of the E3 or the E4. And then at time of the scanner purchase, you say, you know what, we're ready to throw some three-shape software in our lab as well. So we're gonna buy a scanner, get the discount on the hardware promo. We're also gonna add software to it. And when you add software to a scanner during Q3, the software is 25% off. So if you're buying that full bundle, you get the scanner at a discount, and you get the software at a 25% savings as well. So try to package that up for, for a great bundle that I'll run through the end of Q3. And then last, let's say um, you, you don't need a scanner or you have a technician that might need to work from home, right? So if, you, if you're gonna be on the road for the designing or, or you're, you know, you're starting your own design service where you, you're gonna receive internal scans, so all you need is standalone software. Well, we kind of understand there's a need for technicians to be on the go, to work from home. Uh, you know, we're in this new, uh, you know, work environment um, and, and we acknowledge that. So to be flexible, uh, we have 25% off standalone software. And on the right are the lists of the different software packages that are included in this promo discount. So depending on what you're looking to design, we have a series of different uh, standalone item numbers and any one of these standalone item numbers will be at a 25% discount. We just wanna leave off on, um, on the promos and I'm going to quickly hand it over to the design team to discuss some great financing opportunities um, if you are interested in, in purchasing some, some hardware. Thank you so much, Carl, for this great presentation and for all of those promotions. We really appreciate it. I just want to go over really quick first our polling results um, so that you can you can see um, what your questions uh, brought our attendees uh, results in. So for the first one, that was, do you have a scanner, a laboratory scanner? And 83 percent of our listeners do have a scanner and 17 percent do not. Um, for the second one, do you use three, three shape software? 67% said yes, they do. And 33% said no, they do not. Thank you very much. And uh, hopefully we learned something on this presentation about Absolutely. three shape software. The next question was, do you currently use three shape automate? 80, 87% said no, they do not. And 13% said yes, they do. Okay. So I just wanted to give you those results in case you wanted to, um, you know, discuss anything with anybody before we get to okay. the Route 66. So I'll say one, one thing about that, right? So I say for those 87% that have not tried Automate, I say I highly recommend it. 
because when you sign up and make an account, you get $53 of credit. So that's 25 crowns, uh, free design crown. So if you haven't used it, I would say, go ahead make yourself an account, uh, get your $50 free credits, test a couple cases, you get 25 free crowns at the 10 hour turnaround um, and give it a go uh, because we have a, a very uh, high, you know, acceptance rate when it comes to downloading those, those designs. So I say, give it a try, get your free $50. Excellent. Okay, great. I just want to talk to all of you out there about our new financing program. So if you want to take advantage of three shape promotions, we make it a little bit easier for you to get this equipment into your lab laboratory, and would that be any piece of equipment that you're thinking of? So Route 66, like I said, is a brand new fan financing program um, through Zon, which does not require any payments for six months. That means no payments until 2023. So if you have any questions about our Route 66 financing program, please don't hesitate to contact your Zon representative. They'd be more than happy to get you in touch with somebody from Henry Schein Financial to discuss this with you. Um, and I also want to say thank you so much for everybody coming out to listen to us today, and especially to Carl for um, putting together such a great presentation, making us definitely much more aware on 3Shape and the importance of uh, this design process. So thank you so much, Carl. I wish everybody a wonderful day, and everybody have a great rest of your afternoon.